Now it's time for my power rankings after week 10. Let's see who made the list. At number five this week in making their season debut in my power rankings, it's the Pittsburgh Steelers. With last week's win over a very good commander's team, the Steelers have won four straight while putting up 31 a game. Russell Wilson has improved to 3-0 on the season as a starter. He threw a beautiful touchdown game-winning pass to Mike Williams. The Steelers' schedule only gets tougher from here as they have four consecutive divisional games coming up. I can't wait to see how Coach Tomlin's top two defense fares this week against Lamar and the Ravens in that top scoring offense. Coming in at number four this week, it's Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills. They've got five in a row in the win column. They put up 30 points a game in their last four. That defense had themselves a day against the Colts on Sunday. They had four takeaways and four sacks. The Bills have their biggest test of the season this week when Patrick Mahomes and that undefeated Chiefs squad comes to town. You're not going to want to miss this one. These teams, they got a ton of history together. I'm excited to see how this one plays out. Moving up to number three in my power rankings, the Baltimore Ravens. Baltimore held off the Bengals on Thursday night. They've won seven of their last eight. This Ravens offense, they look like a well-oiled machine. They're putting up 32 a game. Lamar leads the league in touchdown passes. What? While Derrick Henry leads the league in rushing touchdowns? That's crazy. <laughs> That's got to keep all the defensive coordinators up at night. They got a huge matchup this week for first place in the AFC North against the Steelers. Holding down the number two spot this week, the Detroit Lions. Listen, I know Jared threw five interceptions, but Detroit still pulled off a win in Houston on Sunday night. As a quarterback, you got to love when your defense and special teams come through huge for you. Jake Bates, a UFL alum, nailed two 50-yarders in the fourth quarter, including the game winner with no time left. And that Aaron Glenn defense, that one that plays all that man that gets sticky and shuts down all those great opposing receivers, they pitched a shutout in the second half. Talk about a team win. And last, and I don't think anyone is very surprised at this one, at number one, the Kansas City Chiefs. I know. They keep finding different ways to win every single week, and that's why they stay on top of the power rankings. This week, who won it for them? The special teams unit. There was a game-saving block field goal with no time left. That was a ridiculous play by Leo Chanel. That's why we love the NFL, because you never know exactly how these games are going to play out. That's 15 straight wins for the Chiefs. They haven't lost since Christmas last year. They got a huge one against Buffalo, and everyone loves a great Mahomes-Josh Allen matchup. Do I need to even say more about that? You better believe I'll be watching that one. We're going to see next week who shakes out in our top five of these power rankings. I can't wait to watch week 11.